In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're continuing with the second paragraph on volume 21, 316, 19, 27. Uh, so Jesus just explained to Louisa that the Blessed Mother was used for redemption. Um, she, she, she was the vehicle to bring about redemption. And now Louisa is the vehicle, the, the echo of the holy humanity of Jesus, the interior life of Jesus for humanity to enter into the divine will, this kingdom of the divine will. So this is, he says, this is why I, Jesus, have chosen you, Louisa, my daughter, from the same stock as Mary. This is this of, of this new beginning that's happening, not only to manifest to you, Louisa, the knowledges, the goods, the prodigies of this fiat, but so that by living in the divine will with your universal acts, these Catholic acts, you might incline, be inclined, uh, you might incline my divine will to come and reign in the midst of creatures as in the beginning of creation. So listen to what he says. I have chosen you, Louisa, my daughter, from the same stock of the new Adam, Jesus, and the new Eve, Mary. See, this is, this is essential. This is why it's so uh, important to be Catholic. If we don't understand the bread, the manna, from which, which God gave to Moses and the Israelites. If we don't understand the Holy Eucharist, the, the second bread, the super substantial bread of the Holy Eucharist, we're not going to understand the first bread, the bread of the divine will. This, this is what Adam ate. This is the food of Jesus and Mary. The, the, this bread, this first bread, is what God wanted Adam to have from the beginning and all the little children of, of God's will from the beginning. This is why I, Jesus, have chosen you, Louisa. Our name isn't there. This is what we have to understand. I know a lot of people say, when I read the book of heaven, I read you talking to me. No, he's talking to Louisa. <laughs> and then he says, if you really want this, I got, I have to see in you the DNA of Louisa. Okay, what's the DNA of Louisa? It's the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary. From the same stock. Who, this is, no other saint had this true life of Jesus, this true life of Mary. Now, Jesus gives us these hints throughout the whole thing for us to seek and you will find, knock and it will be open. This is what God is waiting for. He's waiting for us to, what is this about? We read, we study, we put this into practice. So he says, not only to manifest to you, Louisa, these truths, these knowledges, these lessons that I have given you about the goods and prodigies of this fiat, but so that by living in the divine will, being Catholic, your universal acts, you will be inclined, to my divine will, to come to reign again on earth as it is in heaven, in the midst of humanity, as in the beginning of creation with Adam. This is astonishing. This is, this is why Jesus says, I could give you no greater apostolate, if you want to say, than this gift of gifts, this prodigy of prodigies, which is Louisa Picaretta and the gift of the divine well, which is the true life of Jesus, the true life of Mary. Therefore, you to you, Louisa, Listen to what Jesus is saying. I'm just echoing what Jesus says. To you, Louisa, it is given to unite humanity, everyone, to embrace everyone and everything so that finding everyone and everything in you, Louisa Picaretta, as the firstborn, as the newborn, just as I have found everything in my divine will, okay, so he's saying, he, he's comparing Louisa to this new beginning, which isn't really new at all. It's what God breathed into Adam right at the beginning of, of creation. That you, Louisa, may place harmony among all of humanity. 
that all of humanity may exchange this kiss of peace between God and man. This wedding, that's why Jesus calls heaven the wedding feast. This is why Jesus has proposed to us. Jesus wants us to uh, accept his proposal, this wedding feast between God and man. He came to earth to find a bride. And he will marry the church collectively as his bride. But he tells Louisa, each person, well, it will be as if they had their own personal Jesus that no one else knows about. This intimacy with God, this oneness with God, this kiss of peace coming to humanity again. And he said, in my kingdom, because of you, Louisa, because you have placed harmony up among humanity, everything is found in you that's my divine will. You will be able to help humanity exchange this kiss of peace, and my kingdom shall be restored in the midst of humanity. This is astonishing. This is the most glorious thing that can happen. It's a new beginning, but it's that's that's why John Paul II at the canonization of St. Honorable de Francia, St. John, John Paul II said that we're going to enter a new and divine way of holiness. This new and divine way of holiness is going to come to the earth. This new and divine way of holiness is going to engulf humanity. It's not about becoming a saint, Jesus says to Louisa. That's, that's volume one through volume 10. It's to live in the divine will through the power of the Holy Spirit, 11 through 19, and then receiving back again the divine inheritance of the Father, volume 20 through volume 36. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, I'm just going to read volume 20 through volume 36. <laughs> that's what I want. This I want this ultimate. Well, you can't get that unless you become a saint. Volume 1 through volume 10 is essential to enter into this kingdom. That's right. Volume 1 that has no dates. Like When you read the calendar, you go through all the dates every day. This is what Jesus says. Volume, volume 2 through volume 36. This is what Jesus says. The next day, this is what Jesus says. The next day, this is what Jesus says. There's, there's a few days where there's no writings. Why? Because on those days, you read volume one. I think it's two or three days. That's it. So volume one, you break it up into three sections and you read volume one uh, in those three sections. Every, and, and, and within a year, you have read all 36 volumes. You have breathed in the, 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 the first expansion, if you want to say, of this knowledge of the divine will. Why? So that... Um, every day, the next year, you expand even more. The next year, you expand even more. God is filling you with this rule of God, this breath of God, this, this outpouring of the Holy Spirit. I, and I've said before, what is, the, what is the illumination of conscience? It's understanding this language of heaven that Jesus breathed into Louisa. It's understanding this this rule of God that was breathed, breathed into Adam, which for all eternity, our, our understanding of God is going to be the awe of God. We're just going to be in awe of how much God loves us, how much he, he has a plan for humanity. So Jesus says very, very clearly, here then is the necessity of these knowledges, these truths, these lessons that I've breathed into you, Louisa, in the book of heaven. This is the necessity of the wonders of my divine fiat that enrapture you, put you into ecstasy as you read, as you study what God is. He saved the best for last. This gift of gifts, this prodigy of prodigies. To dispose humanity, to attract all of humanity, to desire, to want, to long for this kingdom and the goods that are in the divine will, as well as the necessity that I choose one creature, Louisa. It's, it's not only knowing about this gift, but the one God has chosen. Louisa, the firstborn of the new Adam and of the new Eve, who possesses the, the life of the new Adam and the new Eve. DNA. It's not that she becomes that. 
but it's like you don't become your parents, but you have the DNA of your parents. You have the the spirituality of your parents. You have unless unless God intervenes and gives you, you know, He wants to bless you more with the spirituality of the new Adam of the new Eve. So you, you the necessity of knowing the first creature, Luisa Picretta. This is our job. The goods of this kingdom. The the to dispose God is disposing us to the wonders of the divine will. God's disposing us to this new and divine way of holiness that is for this time. As, as Father Bucci kept, kept on telling us, St. Francis was for his time. St. Thomas Aquinas was for his time. Luisa is for our time. A new era has begun. What did Our Lady say to Bruno in 1947? T the time has now come to an end. It's not the end of the world. There's doom and gloom that's all around. It's not the end of the world. It's the end of the era that we've been in for 6,000 years. Yes, we've been redeemed 2,000 years ago by the new Adam. And Our Lady co-redeeming with Jesus on Calvary, her heart splitting in two with a new Eve. I, we just read something about for every woman that gives birth to a child, the, the, the stem cells of that child are in that mother forever. And they said, why didn't Our Lady die on Calvary? Because the stem cells of Jesus kept her alive. It's the divine will, this DNA is this is what Jesus is asking of us. She did not die of a heart attack on Calvary, which she should have, but it was the stem cells of Jesus in her body to give life back to herself. It was Jesus. So Jesus says this, it's necessary that we begin to understand who Louisa is by living in the divine will with her universal acts, her Catholic acts, <laughs> that my divine will administers to Louisa. These, these Catholic, this Catholic life now is, is coming to the fullness. The more we begin to understand uh, and put into practice the truths, the lessons that Jesus gave to Louisa, the more we begin to understand this, the, the, the sooner the kingdom is going to be on earth as it is in heaven. So he says, the, the, this is what he wants of us, okay? This is why it's so important. The necessity the necessity to understand the first one, the chosen one, the newborn, by living in the divine will with her universal acts in her, these Catholic acts, this true life of Jesus, this true life of Mary, that my divine will administers to her. It's not Louisa. It's what God has done with Louisa, which God wants to do with us which are divine acts. It's Jesus in us. That's why when I hear people say, I'm going to do my acts in the divine will, sorry. It's the acts of Jesus that we're redoing. The acts of Mary that she redid with Jesus. The new Adam and the new Eve, our divine acts, may impetrate the kingdom of my fiat for humanity. will bring the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. This is the fulfillment of the Our Father. This is what God has planned from the beginning of time. And he's chosen us to be alive at this time. He has predestined us to live at this time. This, is, this to me is humbling. We're nobodies. We're nothings. Yet we are going to witness the kingdom of God being established on earth as it is in heaven. We're going to witness the evil one who's been banished from heaven being banished from earth. This era is over for the evil one. The era now of the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven has begun. It is here. It is now for anybody who wants it. He's asking us. He's pleading with us to begin to live this abundant life. So may the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will always. We ask this in Jesus' name under the mantle of Mary through the intercession of Louisa, and we pray that this prayer becomes God's command. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.